Hey everybody and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today, we're going to be highlighting and breaking down a reason why a lot of men have a very difficult time trusting women, okay? But before we share our screen and we get into this dope discussion, y'all go ahead and take this time out right now to like the video, share the video, subscribe, and most importantly, do not forget to hit that notification bell. That way you all can be alerted for future dope discussions. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, you all. So we have a video here today that I came across while I was over on Facebook scrolling. And I thought to myself, hey, we need to talk about this because it really does showcase the thought process, the personality, the lifestyle, and the very poor treatment that a lot of men receive from a lot of these modern day females, okay? But uh, let me go ahead and disconnect my microphone so that you all will be able to hear this video, okay? Let's go ahead and run it. Let me make this bigger for you all so you can see everything that is taking place, all right? Okay, let's go ahead. Start from the top, boom. Excuse me. Oh! My fault. I was about to ask him for a number. <laughs> oh, I'm sick in this. <clears throat> I'm going to throw some G in this. She looking. Now let's pause. Let's pause. Hold on, you all. So let me go ahead and let you all know what is transpiring right now. She's at the gas station with the guy that she's with, obviously, and apparently, okay, she got into his vehicle, and a, another guy approaches her. Now, he is initially unaware that she's already uh, involved. So he's trying to get her number. She's scurrying off. As you guys can see in the caption down below, it said, dick, you know, I'm assuming that she called him that because he's like, hey, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And she's kind of annoyed and irritated because it's like, dude, leave me alone. I already got a man, you know, just mind your business. And then got the guy that is trying to talk to her scoped that out and was like, oh, my fault. I didn't know that you were already with somebody. My bad. Let me just go ahead and put some gas in my car and go about my damn day. All right. Let's continue. Now, as you guys can also see, she is now opening up her car door. The, the guy that she is with, she is opening up his car door. I should correct myself and say after she has peep game and scoped out the fact that the guy that was initially trying to talk to her. Right has a nicer vehicle than the guy that she is currently with. So now she's like, oh, damn, I'm potentially fumbling a bag. I'm trying to scurry off and run away from him, and I'm calling him a dick and all of this, and he's getting on my nerves. But lo and behold, hold on. What am I doing? This guy has a better car than the guy that I'm with. That means he must be more financially stable, secure, yeah, let me go ahead and see what he was trying to talk about. Let's continue. Zoom in on her face, dog. It's cold. Mm, 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 mm. What's up? Where'd I go? Okay, I ain't hit you. Oh, hold on. Now she's like, oh, dang, like, this dude got a nice car, right? This dude got a nice car. Like, what am I doing? He got, he must got money. Let me pretend like I was just clueless to the fact that he was just trying to talk to me and play it off like, oh, my bad. I just didn't hear you, you know, but I see you got a nice car, which probably means you have some money. And so, yeah, what were you trying to say? This is a gold digging hoe, all right? Let's be clear. This is a gold digging hoe. This is why a lot of men do not trust women. 
because you can be out with her and you're doing the most for her, riding her around. Hey, for all we know, the guy that she just hopped out of the car with could have just taken her on a very expensive date. Sure, he may not have the nicest of cars, the, mo the most luxurious of cars, but who knows how much time, money, energy, love that he has invested into this woman for her to say, oh, well, shit, you know, this guy over here may have more than you, so let me go ahead and see what he's about. You know, that is a problem. This is what I would call an hypergamous hoe. Yes, she is a hypergamous hoe. The moment that she scopes out a guy that she perceives to do to be doing better than you, that she perceives to be getting money and all of that and can potentially level her up, she will monkey branch and dip on that last guy that could have been doing the most for her. All because, hey, it wasn't as much as he can possibly get to me. That's a problem. That's why a lot of men are just done with a lot of you go digging hot pergamous holes. Let's continue. Let's blow it back up. Now, again, after she scoped out his car, now she's like, oh, my bad. I didn't hear you. What were you saying? What's up? Oh, I was just about to ask you for your name, but I didn't know you had a boyfriend. That's my best friend. That's your what? That's my best friend. What you come over here for? Cute. So oh, thank you. Bro, so you play on me? I told you. What you mean? What you mean? Oh, what, what, what's up? I ain't even. Hello. She said you're her best friend, bro. I ain't gonna care. I ain't worried about him. I'm not worried about him. That's how you feel? That's how we're doing? What y'all got going on? Huh? I said, what y'all got going on? No, you want my number or something? Hey. Now, I also want to highlight how dangerous of a situation this is. You know, this female is placing the guy that she is currently with directly into harm's way. Not only him, but the other guy that she is currently talking to. She's also placing him directly into harm's way, right? And this is because... You know, these guys could potentially be fighting over this chick. That's a dangerous spot and position to put a man in. Especially the guy that she's currently with because he's going to feel disrespected. He's going to feel like he needs to show and prove himself. Like, this could just go terribly wrong. This could have went terribly wrong, right? Now, I have to tip my hat off to this brother because he did just walk away. He even said, look, I don't need, I ain't even worry about him. I'm talking to you. What are you doing? So then the other guy is like, wait a minute. Uh, I don't want no smoke. She just told me that, you know, you were her best friend. You know, I, I had no idea. So again, this could be a very harmful situation that she put both of these guys in, right? The guy that she is talking to could have became very hostile and territorial, which once again could have placed the guy that she was with in harm's way. He could have been like, nah, nigga, this mine. She, she, she in my face now. So don't 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 walk up on my ish. That could have went south. Same thing in reverse. He could have been like, wait a minute, nigga, this my girl. What are you doing? What's going on here? You disrespecting me? That could have went sideways. So you just have to steer clear of these type of females. These hypergamous hoes are extremely dangerous and they are not to be trusted. So he's like, okay, you're going to do me like that? Bet. I'm going to walk away. You know, I don't have time for no hostility. I don't have time to go to jail. So have at it, bitch. Okay, have at it. Let's continue. Let me blow it up again. Huh? That nigga about to do something. It's cool. Tight. 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 It's cool, I guess. How you know I was going to ask for your number? How you know I was going to ask for your number? 
cute. Look at me. What? <laughs> Yeah, I take your number. That nigga look like he more more than a friend. Bro, chill. That's how we doing. Ain't he a rider? Huh? What you doing today? Chilling. I'm not gonna lie. You got my number now, so yeah. Don't worry about him though. Hit you up. <laughs> Got you. That's crazy. What the f car was that? I gotta look at how this this is crazy. So you did all of that thinking that you was still gonna get a ride home, bitch. You thought that you would be able to disrespect the hell out of this man and still climb your cute ass, quote unquote, back into his car so he can drop you back off after you and just entertain the next dude in his presence at that? Girl, please. Girl, please. But this is the type of entitlement that a lot of females today also have. You know, not only are they hypergamous hoes, but they're also extremely selfish, extremely entitled. And the moment that things go south or go wrong, it's like, what did I do? What's your problem? Chill. These men ain't men no more. They're too sensitive. After you just blatantly, directly disrespect the hell out of him. And then the guy that you're getting the number from, he's laughing at your dumb ass. Like, wow, is this the type of chick that she is? And let's not get it twisted, you all. When it comes to these guys, they're peeping game on you. When they see you acting like this and maneuvering like this, they have it in the back of their minds like, okay, she's this type of chick. Not let me not take her seriously because if she can do that to that man in my face, I can only imagine what the hell she'll do to me. So, yeah, he laughing at your dumb ass. Let's finish this off. <laughs> The next nigga pulls off. Lord. Lord. Again, this is why men don't trust women. Okay. A lot of you females are only trying to level up. You know, you're not sincere. You're not loyal. You're only looking for a handout you're only looking to use a man and abuse a man and the moment that you get what you're going to get out of him you discard of him you know and again you guys these other guys that you're trying to monkey branch to they're peeping game on you as well like damn he seemed to be a cool dude like why would you do why would you do him like that if you would do him like that i can only imagine what you would do to me you know so why even get involved with these females when they're all about your bread, they're all about the materials, they're all about what you can do for them. And it's never about the quality of that man's character. It's never about, you know, what that man has poured and contributed into that relationship. It will all go down the drain and out the door the moment that the next best thing presents itself. And again, she didn't know this man from a can of paint. For all she knew, the, the car was rented. For all she knew, the car was his baby mama's, his mama's car. She didn't know. All she saw was, hey, he seems to be doing better and have more than the guy that I'm currently with. So let me go ahead and see what he's hitting on, right? 
And, and that's the problem of today with a lot of women. It's all about the here and now. It's not about what you've done, you know? And the moment that somebody else presents themselves to me and I perceive them to be better than you, I'm out. So that's my dope discussion. This is hypergamous hoes gone wrong, okay? Because again, even the guy that she tried to get in the car with next peeled off on her ass too. So yeah, don't do this, ladies. Don't be like her, all right? Because you could be left in the dust by the last man and the damn next man, all right? But again, this is why a lot of men do not trust women. Y'all let me know. Uh, are you having a difficult time trusting women today? If so, why? Uh, ladies, are you guys starting to see why a lot of men feel the way that they feel now? When you see images like this, when you see footage, videos like this, do you understand now why a lot of guys are like, look, I would just rather be by myself because, hey, look at what we get dealt with. I would rather not take these females seriously because they clearly do not take us seriously, you know? But anyway, once again, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, um, feedback down below, and I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion, all right? Much love and peace to my crown heads. And again, ladies, do not be a hypergamous hoe. It will backfire, tragically. <laughs>